The most expensive towns in Massachusetts, the top three on the South Shore of Boston. Now there are a lot of Boston suburbs, so many that we actually first split the areas around Boston by regions. We have the North Shore, which is north of Boston. We have Metro West, which is the suburbs to the west of Boston. And you probably guessed it, the South Shore, that's the suburbs to the south of the city. Now here are the three most expensive suburbs on the South Shore of Boston. Does the most expensive mean that they are the nicest? Well, that's hard to say and really falls to a personal opinion. But if you're looking for a nice suburb of Boston, want to be south of the city and have a nice budget, then here's a short list that might just make a lot of sense to start with. Hey, it's Jeff Chubb. Welcome to the channel. To learn more about real estate, then don't forget to click that like and subscribe button below. The most expensive town on the South Shore is Cohasset. The highest priced home that sold last year was $6.75 million with an average sales price of $1.5 million. Now, Cohasset's a small town of a little over 8,000 people and is located about 16 miles south of the city of Boston. Cohasset is surrounded by Hall in the north, Hingham in the west, and Situate in the south. What makes Cohasset so unique and desirable is the Atlantic Ocean that surrounds the town in the east. Now, residents of Cohasset are quick to point out it's kind of like living on the Cape, but with the proximity of Boston. It's truly the best of both worlds. Cohasset has two beaches, one harbor that opens directly to the Atlantic Ocean and a Gold Coast coastline, if you will. Now, the community enjoys a commuter rail stop, but also enjoys the close proximity to the commuter ferry in Hingham. And furthermore, their school system is ranked as one of the best school systems on the South Shore, making this an additional draw to people moving from Boston. Now, the second most expensive town on the South Shore is Hingham. The highest priced home that sold last year was $4.9 million, with an average sales price of $1.27 million. Now, Hingham, it's about 15 miles south of Boston and is a neighboring town of Cohasset. If you're driving to Cohasset from Boston, then you would actually pass through Hingham. Hingham is a large town with more than 24,000 residents. And Hingham, it pretty much offers it all with waterfront, a quintessential New England town, and a large commercial area like Derby Street, as well as the shipyard, which, by the way, it's on the water and where that MBTA ferry access is that we talked about earlier. Now, Hingham has some amazing recreation areas with a 500-acre Bear Cove Park and the 250-acre World's End Peninsula that overlooks Hingham Harbor. And then there's Wampatuck State Park, which includes another 3,000 acres of woodland. Now, residents enjoy the two MBTA commuter train stops in town, as well as that ferry service that we talked about a little earlier. And that ferry ser service actually dumps commuters off at Rose Wharf in Boston. And by the way, there's a bar on that ferry, I'm just saying. And another fun fact is Bill Belichick actually calls Hingham home. So to round out the top three most expensive towns on the South Shore, we find the town of Westwood in the third spot. The highest priced home that sold last year was $6.1 million, with an average sales price of $1.2 million. Now, Westwood's a community of a little over 16,000 people and is located 12 miles southwest of Boston. It's situated in what many find to be an extremely convenient location, being at the junction of 95 and 93. And aside from their convenient location, they also are served by two MBTA commuter rail sta stations and even have a full MBTA bus service. The children of the Westwood are able to utilize five elementary schools, one middle school and one high school. And like many other towns throughout Massachusetts, Westwood has many areas of recreation, including the Mulva Hill Conservation, which is a 90-acre park with public walking trails and is adjacent to Lowell Woods, which is another 71 acre recreation area with 1.2 miles of walking trails. Then there's Rice Reservation and Lyman's Pond, which make up another 118 acres of recreational space for residents of Westwood to stretch out in. Then there's University Station, and this is a vibrant mixed-use development that offers its residents a lot to do. For starters, it's home to the Route 128 Amtrak Station. It combines retail, fitness, restaurants, residential, office, and hotel use. It's here where you're going to find Wegmans, Target, and Nordstrom Rack. And some of the restaurants that you're going to find include Del Frisco's, Not Your Average Joe's, Smash Burger, and Chipotle, just to name a couple. And then there's also Brigham and Women's Healthcare Center, which actually also includes an urgent care facility. So there you have it. There are the three most expensive towns on the South Shore of Boston. And if you're looking to relocate to Boston and are looking for a Boston suburb, then there, this might be a really great place to start. But know there are a lot of Boston suburbs, all offering people all different value. For example, Cohasset's by the water. If that's your sort of thing, then you're gonna love Cohasset. But if you're looking for more convenience, then Westwood would be a great choice because quite frankly, Cohasset isn't exactly convenient to get to.
Now, if you're a little confused or overwhelmed, then know that is completely understandable as there are a lot of suburbs. Know that I'm here to help you sort through them. And if you're interested in knowing about the most expensive towns on the South Shore of Boston are, then these videos on the screen now, they might just pique your interest. So take a look and let me know if you have any questions.